thing is actually stringify has to be done here actually stringify here and also it has to be data dot user dot token details because token is already we are storing somewhere so we don't want to store everything so we can have uh, user dot profile details this is enough the same thing json dot pass is there means local data local data okay so if data dot has one property return data key. otherwise return null Okay, so uh, let me start this thing. It's working fine. Welcome user is there. I will remove this thing. It's pacing here. Yes, it's working fine. Yes. Let me show here. So here it has to be something like ID. Maybe I will. Yes. I will. I will get the email here. Log in the back I will so from the login data. So I'll go to and just login again for checking everything is working fine. Oh my god, working on the final log. Working and now we got it once again. I will check. Yes, from the login data, the email has been successfully retrieved from our local storage. So, the time in the way I'm, way I'm doing is I'm just showing the username here. So, what I'm gonna do is user welcome username is equal to empty initially so once the user has been login name is there so I will show the name here by the way here also then the if the user is login only I can able to access this details so uh, I'm gonna bind this value in html also so welcome welcome user so i am just put a span username so i put some css also So I will be color red, something like that. But just for this thing, if you want, you can change no problem. Okay, so everything's fine. I will save everything. I'm just coming here. Yes, it's there, right? Welcome user. Test one is there. So I'll put some little space. Okay, fine.
So if you put logout, it will be shown. So if the logout, so the same has to be done for logout also. This has to be shown only, not login. Yes, correct. So if I'm logging again now, yes, welcome is reserved there uh, for, uh, along with the logout. So if I click logout has been here. So our login and registry has been successfully completed. So in the next series, we will see how, how can we get this category from our uh, Spring Boot application. That means Spring Boot API along with the images. So and apart from then further tutorials, we can see the add to cart and all the functionalities. Thank you. Please subscribe. And if you have any, any doubts, please comment it. Thank you. And please share with your friends. Thank you.